Hello everyone. So in this video we will learn how to connect Facebook lead ads to MailChimp. So imagine this you have generated a new lead called as John. John is your newly created lead from your Facebook form. Now you want to add John as a subscriber in MailChimp. Now here you have two choices. Either you can copy all the data from Facebook forms and manually paste it into MailChimp or you can just bring in some automation. So in this video we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Facebook and MailChimp. So what Pabli Connect will do is, anytime a new lead is added in Facebook, it will automatically add a new member in MailChimp. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can create your own free account in just two minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Facebook to MailChimp. Facebook to MailChimp and then just click on create okay so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so in the choose app how about we make it as facebook okay so here you have two choices facebook comments and facebook lead ads so i am going with this one facebook lead ads because we want to receive the data when a lead ad is made in facebook okay so we have selected it now in the trigger event, again we have two events that is new lead legacy and new lead. We are going with new lead. Okay, so new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new lead is made in Facebook, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is one more trigger event that is new lead legacy. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new lead is made in Facebook. Okay, so all we have to do is just click on connect with Facebook. Again, in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Facebook. Excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, there are uh, two blanks in front of you. One is for page and other is for lead generation form. So when we explore this in the drop down, you will find all the pages I have in my Facebook account. So let me just show you. Let me just take you to my pages. So these are all the pages I have in my Facebook account. So these are all the pages that I have created. So all the pages that is present here is simply being reflected in the drop down. My point is very clear. Any variation or any data that is present in Facebook is bought here. This is because Facebook and Public Connect are now thoroughly integrated. Now what if I create a new page? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on create a new page. Okay. So the name of the page is uh, real tech merchant review or real tech merchant that's enough now the category is uh, science and technology science technology and engineering how with how about we go with that now let me just uh, click on create a page okay so a new page called as uh, real tech engineering has been real tech uh, merchant has been created so this is the page okay so when i go to public connect and let me just uh, refresh this so when i refresh this and explore the drop down you will again expect to find you can expect to find this particular page in the drop down so let me just see this yes we do have the, the newly created page called as real tech merchant so let's select this 
okay so as you can see in the lead generation form it is not showing anything this is because since this is a newly created page we don't have any uh, lead generation form for this so what i'm going to do here is i have actually created a page to generate leads so this is the page any tech solution okay and as you can see here you have a lead generation form that is lead capture form let me show you let me just uh, take you to my uh, page okay so the page is uh, any tech review any tech solution okay so this is the page any tech solution now in the publishing tools so you will find the lead form okay so let me just uh, take you to my lead form okay so this is the lead form library so we are working with uh, facebook business suite now in your case you may be working with the simple facebook version but it's okay all you have to do is uh, get inside to your form now my form is located here so this is the form lead capture form okay so this is the same form that is showing here now usually what happens is when we have selected uh, the triggering software as well as the triggering event and when we connect it with the public connect you will find the webhook url now we usually paste this uh, webhook url into the triggering software and we receive the data but in this case we don't have to go into those things here all we have to do is uh, just click on save and send test request so when we click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead i repeat again Again, when I click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead now let me just uh, go to uh, Facebook okay so this is the capture form lead capture form and I'm just going to click on test form okay so this is the form and I'm going to fill in some detail so the first name is uh, Molly and the last name is Hooper Molly Hooper and this is the email Molly Mary at the rate gmail.com so this is the email molly mary at the rate gmail.com and of course this is the phone number 9131323417 some random phone number and let me just click on next and submit okay so a person called as molly hooper has submitted the form so when i go to public connect and when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the details of molly cooper so let me just do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see we do have the details of molly cooper so the first name is molly the last name is hooper the email is molly mary one to uh, molly mary at the rate gmail.com and this is the phone number okay excellent so basically now we have to add molly hooper as a subscriber in mailchimp now to do that all you have to do is to just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as mailchimp okay because we want to add a subscriber in mailchimp that is why now in the action event how about we make it as add new member okay so add new member is an action event there are many more action events like add member tag add member note find member delete list member and so on all of them are bunch of action events now just like the triggers if you don't find the action events according to your choice you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pebbly.com to custom build an action event for you but at present i just want to add a new member in mailchimp then click on connect with mailchimp okay so in the new credentials we have to fill in the token and also we have to fill in the data center now to get these details let's have a visit to mailchimp so this is my mailchimp account so first of all we will deal with this one that is the data center so to get the data center basically copy this detail okay so this is your data center i'm just copying this and pasting it here easy okay now coming to this part called as the token so to get the token let's again go to mailchimp and this is the account uh, page of a uh, mailchimp here i'm going to click on extras click this and then I'm going to look for API keys. Click this. Okay, so scroll down. So in the section of API keys, you will find the API key. So in my case, I have already created a new API key. So this is the API key. Now, if you want, you can just click on this button and an API key will be generated. But I'm satisfied with this. So I'm just copying this and pasting it here. Okay, so we have entered the API key and also we have entered the data center. So let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to create a member from the data that we have received from Facebook via Public Connect. Now, before we start mapping in the details, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so let's start mapping. So in the audience list, it is showing it as Pabli. So this is because uh, 
the name of my audience list is Babli, so that is why okay now coming to the part called as the first name so basically we will start mapping so let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button when we click this we will find all the details that we have received from Facebook so the first name is uh, Molly we have mapped it the last name is uh, Hooper okay now this is her phone number so this is her phone number okay so we have mapped it and of course we need her email okay so we have mapped the email address now in the status of the subscriber how about we keep it as subscribed now coming to the tags now i want to create a tag something like since this information came from facebook i'm going to uh, make a tag of uh, make a tag them as from facebook so to create a tag all you have to do is enter a pair of double quotes inside the pair of double quotes just type in the tag that you want that is facebook in my case i want it as facebook okay so basically we have entered the first name the last name the phone number the email address uh, selected the status as subscribe and this is the tag so let me just click on save and send as request to create a member or create a contact okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent to mailchimp so let's have a look so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on audience, all contacts. Okay, so as you can see, oh yeah, we do have a contact called as Molly Mary at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Molly, the last name is Hooper. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this uh, contact in MailChimp shows that we have successfully integrated Facebook and MailChimp with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm taking you back to Public Connect, minimizing my action window and minimizing my trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Facebook to Public Connect, then you have integrated Public Connect to MailChimp. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Facebook and MailChimp. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, go to my forms once again. Okay, and I'm going to make some more entry. Okay, so the first name is uh, Penny and the last name is Leonard. Penny Leonard and this is her email address. Penny123 at the rate gmail.com okay so this is the email address and this is her phone number 9131322 and something random numbers okay so let me just click on next and let me just click on submit so let's have a look in uh, mailchimp do we have uh, some person called as penny okay so let me just uh, refresh this yes of course we do have a person called as penny excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli connect if you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate .com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.